Welcome to Mini University at Miami Valley Hospital. This is your virtual tour and I will be your guide as I take you through the center and share some of our unique aspects of our program as well as each of the classrooms and age groups. This is our infant wing. So uh, we have three different infant classrooms in this location. The ages here are six weeks through 18 months before they transition to toddlers. So everything here is going to be on the child's ground level for them. Lots of textured toys, soft toys, cause and effect, um, you know, things for them to pull up and develop those gross motor skills. Um, everything between the child and the teacher is about connection. You will also never see any sort of confining equipment here. No play pens or bouncy seats or high chairs because we believe that you know they, they should be able to experience their environment and the best way for them to develop those skills is through that. Um, and so the teachers are going to be on the ground at their level feeding them by hand um, and then once they're able to reach some of those milestones is when we can transition them up to toddlers. This is the toddler wing. So we've got three different classrooms in this age group and we're in yellow room right now. The age group is 18 through 36 months and they're working on being potty trained. So we do have access to a diapering table as well as a restroom for them to utilize. So in this age group, we're working a lot on communication as well as some group play. So you'll see some different areas where children can play together. Um, we've got our dramatic play area up in the, um, the loft area. We've got some sensory items as well. As you can see, there's a large open space for them to run and play and burn all that energy that this age group is known to have. And uh, lots of emphasis on dance, movement, music. There's really great art area over here where the materials are constantly being replenished for them. Um, and then in the back, we also have a formal safe space, which is the first introduction for this particular conscious discipline structure. So even though we use conscious discipline throughout all the different age groups, this is where some of the structures really start coming into play. So we can start using um, the academic with the social emotional wellness to help them progress to be ready for preschool. Welcome to preschool. We are in Red Room, which is one of four different preschool classrooms that we have at our Miami Valley Hospital Center. The children here are ages three to five, and they have accomplished potty training at this time. So in this room, we've got a lot of space, and there is a, a structured day for children at this age as well. They do have a lot of focus on different studies throughout the year. Um, and so as you can see, they've got a nice block area for them to do a block study. Up in the loft, they've got dramatic play, um, we do switch out materials in our art area all the time for them to focus on the process rather than the product of the art. Um, this is the age that we start introducing technology as well. So they have a touchscreen computer with age appropriate educational games. There is a sand and water sensory table for them. Over here we've got our library. Throughout every age group we've got a focus on the um, literacy. So there's always great library quality books that we have, a focus on reading and writing, and just beyond the academics of everything, we believe that social emotional wellness is just as important as the educational aspect. So over here we've got conscious discipline structures, so we have our safe space for them, feeling buddies, um, and a lot of these structures help promote self-regulation as well as social emotional wellness because that coupled with our academics and education is really what helps children be prepared for kindergarten. This is our preschool playground area. We also have an infant and toddler playground area around the side of the building. And even though we're in an urban setting, this is a tremendous area for children to run around and be able to play. Directly behind me is a gathering space for them and a stage. We've got a picnic area around the side as well where they can meet outdoors. There is a water table for them to utilize in the summer and spring and fall. There's a dirt pit, there's a sand pit, there's playground equipment behind me where they can play and enjoy some shade wings, just so many different activities and lots of greenery, space for them to grow fruits and vegetables, herbs, and use in their cooking projects and eat um, for their meals as well. 